Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zip of Rage Quit TV. Gonna be casting game between Major and Shy. And of course, Major is on Team Check Six, leading out the interesting GLHF. I guess he says, "You die." Hi, Chobo. And Major is playing on uh, Last Shadows account. I believe that's his. And uh, well, looking like he's just gonna go with the "You die." I love you, Shine. And wow. There's a lot of BM going through these two players. Major is known for being a very, very strong Terran player. He has some crisp timings. He always opens up with the uh, six Hellions, and then he goes into doing mech generally. Generally, his six Hellions, he does use that to kind of expand, and wow, can that chat be distracting. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it, because, well, it just makes me kind of sound like a fool at times, especially when I decided to talk to about it. So, that is it. We do have an... Uh, Extractor trick going down from Shine. I think that wasn't intentional. Of course, the extractor trick was intentional, but since he's talking so much, I think he accidentally built the 10th drone, and it was like, oh no, I guess I'll just do an extractor trick and even that out. And we'll see him going for a hatch first. The question is, is it going to be 15 or 16? It could be 14 as well, but generally 15 or 16 is the common one to take. That drone is going, so it looks like it is going to be indeed 15. And we have Major throwing down his first beer, because there goes his gas at 13 supply. And no, that drone is not going to be going to expand. He is going to scout. And now this one drone from Shine is going to be taking the expansion right at 15 supply. And he is scouting, so he's going to know it's not going to be a 2 lax build, which does make a huge impact on how the Zerg opens up. And if he sees a bunker, he won't try to like overreact to it, because he knows the main threat is going to be Hellions that are becoming around the 5 minute and 45 second mark. I believe the two Hellions will arrive at Shine's base. So Shine is going to be smart to get a spine call up at his natural around 5 minutes and 5 seconds or 15 seconds. Around that time, you really want to get that spine call. You can skip out of the spine call if you decide to get a second queen. And we see this one drone just going to be hamming away on the SCVs. And now just go behind and try to cause annoyances, but the SCVs aren't really biting today. He is going to be taking this one gas, and Major is going to get a few Marines. It does take, I believe, three Marines to out-DPS the healing of an Extractor. And uh, he'll be able to cancel this a few times, but every time he cancels this Extractor, it is six gold wasted. So we'll count the times he cancels this. The one SCV is coming in, gets the scouting information he wants. He can check the gas. See, okay, you mine 60 gas. There goes one cancel. So he knows that it was a um, extractor first. If he clicked on this, he'll see, okay, you almost have 100 gas before this pool is finished, which means you did take it first. And it looks like we're going to see another cancel any minute now. Another Marine is coming up. We'll see if it's three or four that out DPS and healing. And there goes the third cancel. He does get it back up. He's almost getting taken it down. Yeah, it looks like three Marines will out DPS that heal. And he has wasted uh, 18 minerals, which isn't that big of a deal at all. Major getting a reactor, trying to bait out more cancels. And this one SCV is going to throw down the command center at 22 supply. And there we go. He only gets three cancels. And the drone is now trying to get any scouting information he can, but he doesn't really get that much. He can see the gas mine, but he probably had an idea exactly how much gas was mined. Anyways, because Major is playing very standard. And once these Hellions come out, as, as I said, he is going to try to get up to six Hellions. It sends another SCV, or is this the same SCV? I believe this is the same SCV, saying hi as he goes back into the base, sees no more drones on gas. That is huge for Major. He knows that will impact the Muta timing, as right now Shine is just going to try to drone up as hard as he can. Major will know the mutas won't be out until about 11 minutes or 12 minutes. If you can see when these guys go back on gas, that would be a huge information, but no, he doesn't. One drone does start going back on. Two Hellions come down, gonna poke, see the spine caller. It does have a build time of 50 seconds, and it is gonna be finishing at the 5 minute and 60, or 6 minutes. So it went down right around 5.10, right when I predicted. Two more Hellions gonna be coming in. Just gonna set up a contain right here. These Hellions aren't to do any pressure. Unless this one spine cooler uproots. If this spine cooler uproots, then the Hellions will go in and try to do some damage. Major is actually getting blue flames instead of taking this expansion. I haven't seen Major do this yet. Generally, I see as soon as he gets these Hellions, he goes for his third command center. But this time, he is getting blue flames and not doing it. He is getting another factory. So he'll be building lots and lots of Hellions. Now he's up to five. And this is definitely Major play that I haven't seen before. It's very much similar in the fact that he is... 
just setting up a contain, has one Hellion in the back. It looks like he's comfortable with four Hellions, but they will have blue flames very soon. We do have a few links from Shine, just gonna be taking out these back rocks, as well as getting a hatch and a Evo chamber. And still, just mining that gas, he's almost at another 100 gas, but he doesn't have the minerals to go into a lair. I'm really interested to see that lair timing. Is he going to go for a plus one before that lair or not? That is the big clue. And there we go. There's the six Hellions I know Major Ford finally joining the parade. And we have him still building more and more Hellions. A Star Ford is going up. And I believe as he's getting a medevac, he is going to be doing some type of Hellion drop. The medevac's not timed perfectly to Blue Flames, but you can see that's what he is trying to do. Try to get a drop in as quick as possible with uh, Hellions and Blue Flames. And Overlord is coming in. Will it scout this? No, it does not get any scouting. He turns away immediately. Doesn't even see these two factories. Of course, he knows there are Hellions out, but I don't think he knows about the Blue Flame just yet. Three more Hellions just sitting at the washout. He doesn't want to show he has more than these six. Six is more than enough to contain his opponent. As long as he keeps him here, he can stop these Ling from moving out. And, well, he can do his drop that he wants to do. More Hellions coming, and he will be dropping four Hellions inside of Shine's base. That lair does start, let's see, 30 seconds, around the 8 minute and 30 second mark, that lair does uh, start, so he's on cue to going for muters around the 12 minute, a little bit later than normal, but he has got a macro hatch up, plus getting the armor upgrade for those lings, and now the four hellions do get dropped in, the workers killed before this is a 1. So we'll see exactly how much damage these Hellions do do. At the same time, he is coming in with more Hellions over here. Ling's pulled to deal with them, and the Hellions actually getting a little bit surrounded. Shine has really defended this well. And now the Hellions going in place where the Ling's have to bulk up. But you got two Queens here, one Hellion in the back. These two Hellions are four Hellions up here. The Hellions absolutely everywhere. And it looks like the ones in that natural did get cleaned up. Major didn't do that much. Oh my god, he gets 10 SEV, uh, 10 drone kills. It's nothing to scoff at, and there's a Viking now out. Oh my god, Major, just putting on so much pressure. This one Viking is going to be cleaning up Overlords. He gets one Overlord kill so far, and did that Helen get any more? Yes, he killed four more drones, but we have the third hash going up. He has this macro hatch. He can build a lot of drones at once. He is rebuilding those drones, and now Ling's coming up. There are still more Hellions to take out these Lings. The Lings have to run away. Blue Flame Hellions are definitely very scary. The Spire has started. And has another 80 seconds until it will finish. Some Banelings are being morphed. The Hellion's going to try to take out that Spine Club, but they don't have enough. This one Viking does have two kills. That's 200 minerals wasted for Shine. Well, not wasted, but the Viking's just dealing damage. And we have Major transitioning into this mech play. He has been playing a lot more mech. And just from what I watched against him and Cats, they play, those two play a lot together. And uh, Shine, what is he doing? I guess I said the Spire. He is getting plus two carapace on his lings, just so he can try to survive against those uh, Hellions, I guess. He does have plus three on his Vikings now, and another drop is coming in. Those Vikings kind of kill all the scouting information of those Overlords, as well as Supply Captain, the Zerg player, and now the Hellions can be dropped in yet again. Before this battle, 14 kills, there goes three drones. Lings pulled to deal with this, and the Hellions get trapped by those two Queens. Shine is really, really good at dealing with these Hellions. We don't have anything going in the main. He had some Hellions here, but chose not to do that. He has this Orbital Command building, and uh, are the Mutas going to be coming out? That Spire has finished, but he is just getting Infestation Pit. What does he see? Does he see really anything? Does this Orbital have... I guess he sees all the factors and decides it's not a good idea to go for Mutas. That Viking now has four kills. And throwing a scan here so he can kill this one creep. Him, there's Hellions again just being as obnoxious as possible. You can see Major just really tries to harass his opponent to death. This one hatch has a lot of love queued up. He has it hotkeyed, so I guess he just does not have the money to use that. We have Pathogen Glands being researched, and Neuroparasite is okay against Mech. Since that one range uh, nerf, Neuroparasite's really not too good. You can Neuroparasite all the Thors, but then your tanks will be in range, and uh, well, the new uh, Infestors do go down, then you get your Thor control back. This one Overlord looks like it may go down, and Major is going to be chasing it. No, he attacks the other Overlord. Will he switch back on this? It only has 37 HP, but no, it looks like this Viking's not too concerned about killing the Overlords. As long as he can stop the vision of Shine, he is happy. And doing another drop right now, Major is just everywhere. 
I can't stress that enough. He has killed 17 drones. Going to come back in. Try to kill some drones. And they do just barely live to with one HP. It's important to note with these, uh, the blue flames. Hellions can two-shot workers. And then with this upgrade, they should be able to do it. But I believe this uh, plus two care pace on the drones is actually allowing those drones to survive. Another overlord does go down by this one Viking. That's up to five kills. But yes, that plus one care pace or the plus two care pace is keeping these drones alive during that helling and harassment. If he didn't have that, a lot more drones would have been toasted this game, I believe. The fourth base now going to be going up for Shine. He is moving overlords out. He is trying his best to get map vision. And it's just not happening. These Hellings look like they will be caught out of position. And only one does go down. And now those gold rocks have been taken out. And Major, he does know about that. So he knows the timing of the fourth base. And he is just going to be very happily taking his fourth base, my guess would be, as he is getting another command center. We have Neuroparasite being researched, as well with the Greater Spire being built. This one medevac just doing nothing right now. And a double expo right now from Shine. His minerals are high enough where he can do this. His minerals are getting a little bit high just because of all that constant harassment. But, well, as soon as the Brood Lords come out, or the Corruptors, you can see his minerals going down. So, it looks like they were high just so he can get that Corruptor count up immediately. And these Hellions going to say, no, 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 that is my watch out. But the Roaches want to come in. But we now have Banshees out for Major. Going to be taking out those Roaches very slowly but surely. And Major getting more command centers. He is known for this as well. One of the things I didn't mention is he loves mules. He will go up to nine noble commands on like four bases and just mule the crap out of any base he takes. And he is getting plus two weapons right now and now plus one armor for his mech. The Roaches do make their way in. He kills some SCVs. But Major, I wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't rebuild those just because he has mules. He will sacrifice SCVs at the late game just to get a larger army. He loves mech. He just says, okay, well, you can't engage me. I just have too big of a force. And these Hellions just trying to find any drones. Do see a Broodlord morphing. So he does know that is uh, incoming very shortly. And I missed those roaches, but they just get taken down to the mech. 10 worker kills, 217. And you can see maybe not rebuilding those SCVs. Just like says, hey. That's more supply for my army. Going into this unit station, you do six, see 61 SCVs, 274 drones. And here we go. He is just pulling his SCVs. Going to be building missile turrets and most likely sacrificing them as he repairs his mech. Again, he doesn't really care too much about those SCVs. Or no, he's going to be pulling them back. So it looks like he still cares. Eventually, we will see him sacrifice his SCVs, hopefully, because I will look like a fool if he doesn't do that. It's just something I have noticed he loves doing. And we do have... No drones left at this. Actually, three drones mining right here. And doesn't look like Major's doing any more aggression. The upgrades are 2-0 Carapace and Major's 2-0 weapons. So those upgrades kind of just cancel each other out. And three Hellions going to the gold base, along with three Hellions going to this one Ninja Expo. No drones there, but there are going to be a few drones over here. Trying to target those gas drones. If he takes out those gas drones, well, he can slow down the brutal account. Looks like he only took out one or two drones there. These Hellions just going to be hiding up on this high ground, waiting for the drones to come down as the Roaches and Festers gutting the exit. And now it looks like Major wants to move out. Going in this unit station, you do see five Vikings versus the five Broodlords, but there are five Corruptors out as well. A lot of links coming in. The Vikings have no upgrades. The Broodlords don't have any upgrades. The Corruptors coming, and we have Point Defender, and I believe that does stop the Corruptor fire, so these Vikings can do so much damage with those Thors. Those Corruptors go down very, very quickly. We didn't see any new repair setting from Shine. He doesn't really have any ground army to protect these investors, and Shine is forced to pull back. Major dealing so much damage. Going this lost tab, you can see Major's just being so cost effective right now. Some more roaches going up. Fulton Growth goes down. A lot of the Vikings and this one Raven gets another one off. Will the Vikings go down? No, they don't. And Major is just pushing in right now, and uh, the Brood Lord looks like he will be going down. In production, we have 28 links, 2 Corruptors, and 1 Roach. And now Overlord's in the next target by all these Thors. The Backlash, or Javelin Missile Launcher it is. Taking them out, not too quickly, but fast enough to become a hassle. And now these Vikings again. Ooh, those Corruptors do snipe that 1 Raven and back away. Hellions coming in, trying to do what damage they can. Major still at... About 200 supply, he will be going up 200 if he builds any more Thors. And now he's just going to be unseaging a few tanks and moving back. 
it looks like he is just going to be taking another base and just saying, you know what, I don't want to engage just yet. I am getting plus three weapons and I need more Vikings. So he didn't max out immediately because he just wants more and more Vikings. These Hellions going to be going in, try to sacrifice their life. Still see no drones at this one expo. did not miss too much. There's 22 will kill, so it doesn't look like I missed that much of harassment. And now this wing's going to be taking out those Hellions, but that will be replaced by more and more Vikings. And I'm really surprised that Major isn't going for Ghost. I generally thought I saw him going Ghost Mac, but this time he's just doing Vikings. And there goes the Ghost Command, so he may be switching over to that. He didn't really have any barracks, so that may be why. And uh, he is building one Ghost right now. That may just be for EMP to go on those Infestors, so Fung Ghost doesn't kill all his Vikings. SCVs repairing these Thors, going to the unit station. 61 SCVs, 279 drones. Hellions again just moving out and gonna try to take out some of those links. The plenty of Corruptors and 5 Broodlords. 14 Corruptors, 5 Broodlords versus the 13 Vikings. The Vikings, I believe, can easily take out those Corruptors. It's all going to come down to if those 3 Infestors get good Fungal Growths off. They can just see the damage done by the Thors on these Corruptors. Oh my god, the AoE is just insane. Some Bailey's coming in trying to deal with those Hellions. Fungal Growth does go down on these Vikings, but there are just too many. And now Shine is in a lot of trouble. I don't think he can come back from this one. The Vikings now going to be chasing the Broodlords, and one goes down. The second one is about to go down. Von Griff does go down, but all the Broodlords are falling, and Major is still at his 200 supply. And for all you people who are QQing about Terran right now, I do have another game. I will be casting Major playing as Zerg against Czech Prime, so be sure to check that VOD out. Hopefully, there will be a link so you can just click that. And you can go on to see Major playing Zerg. We'll see if he has a lot of troubles playing the other race. He has shown he is a very dominant Terran. I hope you enjoyed the cast and well subscribe so you can see me next time. Take care.